Some say the self is full and some say the self is empty. And uh, it depends on how you are, you know. Um, there, are, there are Vedantins who want to say the whole world is unreal, only the self is real. And then there are Shaivites who say all this is a play of the divine. And again, you have to know your own self. You have to know what makes sense to you. Are you a Shaivite that says this world is the play of divinity and of consciousness? All the forms are forms of God. Everything that unfolds is an unfoldment of God. And uh, everything that I can see, the expression of God everywhere. Or do you say this world is a, a trap and a delusion and a snare and it's full of maya and everything is an entrapment and I want to get rid of it and, and go only to the highest? <clears throat> so which one do you choose? Or sometimes one and sometimes the other, which is probably what we do. <clears throat> so, uh, so full or empty, consciousness itself, um, you can say pure consciousness is empty in the sense that it's empty of specific matrikas or thoughts. And it is an ocean of oneness. It's, it's, it's consciousness and light and it's the highest possible feeling. It's love. It's the feeling of oneness. I don't call it an emptiness because it potentially contains everything. It can become anything. So it's full of meaning. It doesn't have specific meanings, but it's meaningful. <clears throat> and it doesn't have specific, specific feelings, but it's full of feeling of the highest, of, of love. So it's an emptiness, but it's also a fullness. So don't get lost. You see, the mind wants to make all these divisions, and different sages have called it different things, meaning the same thing. <clears throat>